there's no denying we live in a 3D world, so it would make sense that our cameras see what we see, and now more than ever, they really do. Yeah, 3D cameras are surfacing everywhere, making their way into the living room, even onto our mobile devices. And our tech contributor, Tina Trent, shows us the very latest. Feet will be about hip distance apart, and your hands will be out to the side. David Lum is about to have his picture taken, and in order to capture the best shot, he'll have to get as close to naked as possible. It's a 3D body scan that captures nearly every curve, nook, and cranny of his frame. Tech startup Body Labs is behind the up close and personal photo session. They're working to create the most accurate 3D models of the human body. A lot of the experiences you have in the world, the goods you consume, the, the services you partake in, relate to your body shape. So whether it's a seat on a plane or a dress that you're wearing, that all needs to be tuned to your body shape. Capturing and analyzing 3D shots of real bodies, the startup is working with groups like the U.S. Army. They want to understand when they make something like body armor, who's it going to fit? How do they need to adapt their designs to accommodate women in combat? We take a statistical model of the body that understands human pose and shape, how it can move, how it relates to other people. It's really a proxy for a true human body. 3D imaging is now available for consumers, too, with devices that determine depth. This is Dell's latest tablet. It's the Venue 8 7000, and it actually has three cameras on the back, which taken all together creates a photo with depth perception. That means if you're out, say, shopping for furniture, you could snap a picture of it, and it will actually give you the dimensions of that couch that you're looking at. I'm going to try taking some pictures of stuff around the office. We'll see how it measures up. I get some mixed results with the tablet. Some measurements come really close to exact, and others are way off. So according to that photo I just took, this TV is 5 feet 9 inches across. But in reality, try more like a little over 2 and a half feet. The technology may need some tweaking, but it's an exciting snapshot of the things to come. And in the real world, where bodies and objects have real curves, it may just be time to see in 3D. And we're starting to see all kinds of applications being developed for these high-tech cameras from health and fitness to fashion and video games. Okay, what's this about gyms, though? How does, let's yeah, see, so that gym. was one of the ideas that was thrown out there by Body Labs. Imagine going to the gym, okay. and each time you hit the gym, you get a 3D scan of a picture of your body after your workout. <laughs> and, I know, you actually have to work out for this to, to work, TJ. So, so over time, you get to see how your body shape changes and hopefully, you know, you get bigger to smaller. That's the idea. <laughs> Cameras I, don't lie. Cameras don't lie. That's why I'd like don't. to use them for fashion, for when you yeah. online shop, right? For custom fitted shirts and dresses, this means an even better custom tailored huh. outfit for mm -hmm. you. And, you know, as these cameras get better and better, really the possibilities are endless. All right, Tina Trent, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, guys.